It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance, my last escape. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside! I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone!
Get away! Hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. 
He's after STARS members. There's no escape!
What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. No way! How did he find me?
Over here! Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us! I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look! We're just mercenaries, hired hands. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it.
You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Oh, this looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready! Uh, uh, fire! Fire! Stay together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. So, Jill. Did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jill! Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Jill! What's wrong? They're coming! They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Ouch, my ears are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What did you do? I had no choice. It was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have if he had transformed.
Oh! <gasps> 
It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. It's looking good. Mikhail! Get out of the cable car, now! Mikhail, wait! Don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Are out. It's useless. Whew. Well, we both managed to survive. Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah, it's been rough. But we can rest now. No, we're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. Here's a gift for you.
Jill! Jill! Hang in there! What have I done? I'm sorry, Jill. Please, wake up! Jill! Jill! October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you.
also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However... Nikolai? You're still alive? You saw what happened? What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait! Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey! Are you okay? Yes. Barely. What's going on? No way! That monster just doesn't give up! What? I thought we killed that thing! No. It's been waiting for you! He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No. I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him.
All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Ah! Another mutant!
Rescuing you is becoming a full-time job. Thanks, Carlos. I owe you. Listen closely, Jill. They're going to launch a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. I At dawn? But, but that's only... I know. We don't have much time left. We have to split up and find a way out of here. And hey, watch out for that traitor Nikolai. Nikolai? Thank <laughs> you. 
Warning. Proceeding with operation in treatment room. Please evacuate immediately. Stars.
Warning. Missile attack confirmed. All personnel evacuate immediately.
You're still alive. Such persistence. Nikolai? Sorry, but there is no escape from here. Jill, what happened? Carlos. The choppers. I guess this is it then. But I don't want to die in a place like this. This isn't over yet. I'm not giving up, Jill. We still have a chance. Jill! That's it. We've got to find a way out of here. Now! Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. Check in system. Check in battery. Warning there is not enough power to activate the system. Activated. 
Executing Quick Charge Program. Preparing to fire. Stars, I'll give you stars. It's over, Carlos. What are you talking about? Don't you hear that? There's a second chopper, and it's here to rescue you. But who is it? Who could possibly be looking for me? It doesn't matter. We just have to be there when it lands. Unfortunate turn of events. 
It seems that the President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City.